I know you think, uh, look at me, hey, Edith, I know you think Irv loves you. I know you think you know him. You think that he sees the world as this cold, dark place, and he cares about nobody but a very few people on a short list, his son, his father, Rosalind, and you, and you think you're on the top of the list. What if you're not? What if you're not on that list? What if you're not even on that list at all? He'd be in here right now if he took the check. But no, you did. God, it's, it's so clear to me. It's so crazy. It's clear to me, but it's not clear to you. He uses you, Edith, to protect himself, to protect his son and his wife in Long Island. No? Yes. He put a ring on her finger. He adopted her son. They have a huge house. They have two cars. What does she do all day? I'll tell you what she does. She plays with the nails, she watches TV, and she spends your money, the money that you make. <sighs> I don't like that you're in jail while he's going free. I don't like any of that. I want to help you. All the razzle-dazzle that he does, it's not good. It's not real. It's fake. It's not real. Who you are is who you are between you and God. You and your soul. That's what matters. That's what counts. That's what I'm about. And that's what I see in you. Tell me you didn't feel the first time we saw each other. Am I crazy? I don't think so. I'm supposed to be talking like this, but I don't care. I break the rules. Okay, Edith, Edith, I want to help you. I like you. 